welcome to Once Upon a Page and happy 2021! Yay! Yay! Finally! <laughs> No, no. We all decided that 2020 wasn't as bad as we thought it was. Okay. So, we are starting a new year, and uh, we might not set resolutions. Mm -hmm. We don't have to call them resolutions, because people always break those, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. But, I never you know, keep <laughs> everybody, everybody starts out with some idea of what they want to accomplish mm -hmm. in the year. And so, we are going to have video evidence uh, of oh, our goals oh. for I this like year. This. I don't like why this she video. Did this. I don't like freaking us. I don't think this was my idea. But anyway, I'm sure it was her idea. I don't think we would have come up with something as devious as that. No, we would really? not have come up with something as I'm devious scared. as that. Or she's warped it. <laughs> we just meant it as a fun thing, and yeah. now she's like, "You are tied to this." So anyway, like we're going to tell you what we hope to accomplish this year. <laughs> We hope to accomplish. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's set in stone. <laughs> These are our hopes and our goals that we will be reaching for. She's going to vote us off the island if we don't get it. We probably. are not on an island unless you consider the United States of America an island. I think they are calling it a continent. She may kick us out of the group and it would just be yeah, Amy's, yeah, be once, Amy. upon page. Amy's <laughs> once upon a page. It would just die. <laughs> I wouldn't have Heather to edit the video. <laughs> so anyway. Oh man. Do you have goals for this year? Your Personally hopes? or authory? Is authory a word? Can we use it? It is sure. now. It is okay. now. Yeah. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe some of both. Oh man. That's I hard. Do, I wasn't actually. expecting this kind of <laughs> The pressure the is pressure. <laughs> And then the whole world knows. I actually do have. Um, I have been so exhausted and I don't just mean I'm tired. Mm. I mean, emotionally, mentally, okay. creatively, physically, totally spiritually, yes. there, there are seven types. Um, <laughs> yes. I, and I, and also I, am, the, um, I am seven sages in of all of them. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not grieving, <laughs> but I'm just saying you said seven. And I'm, I'm like, just exhausted. <laughs> um, and mm. I've been reading, um, Sacred Rest by um, Dr. Sandra Dalton Smith, I think is the last that name. sounds right. And I took the rest quiz and I'm like, wow, I failed miserably oh, in wow. every, oh, every single thing. And mm -hmm. I took it purposefully um, to try and help my husband see when I say I'm tired, what do I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I'm reading the book now and there are things I can do. There are little tweaks to my day that won't solve everything. Right. But to help me be healthier. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking weight loss, although that would be awesome too if, you know, somebody wants to make some kind of magic cookie that makes 20 pounds drop off. <laughs> I'm in. But it has to be a cookie. But it has to be. <laughs> or ice cream. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Ice cream would be yes. better, yes. Or an ice cream cookie. Oh, the okay. weight loss thing may not happen, <laughs> um, but I do want to be healthier. And part yes. of that is getting the rest in yes. all of these areas that my body needs. So I want to find a way to start and, and not overhaul everything all at once. Mm -hmm. Not like all these huge yeah, right. yeah. to change, to get rest, to make you tired, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? Uh, but the little things that I can do, like at lunch break, instead of sitting in the um, break room with mm -hmm. everybody, get away. Yes. Find the quiet room, because there is one. Yes. With a comfy chair. And just be, be still yes. for a few minutes. Yes. Just a little reset through the day mm -hmm. and, and make a huge difference. And just little things like that, that as each step is made, I can then progress right. into more and more um, healthy attitudes and actions and right. things like that. So that's personally where I want to be. That's a really good one, though. Yeah, it is. I feel that myself, you know, yeah. like coming off of Gabe's cancer journey and then 
you know, we were in like fight mode <laughs> for three years. And then this past year, we just been kind of like trying to get back to any kind of normal, you know, because mm -hmm. everything's different. And, right. I mean, he's doing great. Don't get me wrong. But it's just once that happens, your whole entire family changes. And mm -hmm. it's just, you know, and then, of course, with COVID. Yes. That really threw me for a loop. And um, I think it threw us off for a loop. Yeah. <laughs> and just, you know. Yeah. I went through a lot of anxiety and started having panic attacks and, you know, just things that like I normally have never really experienced as much. Mm -hmm. And, and Jake and I were really talking about it and I told him, I said, I think it's all because going through everything with Gabe, I had to suppress mm -hmm. everything yep. to get through it. Bottle it up. I had, yeah, because if I didn't, I felt like I would go into a dark place mm -hmm. and, you know, that wasn't the time for that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so now I feel like my body and my mind and, you know, you know, like you were mm -hmm. saying, just everything is like coming to the surface. Mm -hmm. And so I've been having panic attacks and like mm -hmm. little things stress me out and then I just spiral, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I think for me, like you said, finding a way to figure out the triggers because, you know, obviously I have PTSD from everything going on with Gabe. And like now I can't even go to the doctor's office without freaking right. out, you know, mm -hmm. and I can't take my kids to the doctors because I'm terrified, gonna happen. Mm -hmm. you know, the other shoe's going to drop and, mm -hmm. right. you know, and so, you know, so yeah, so finding a way to deal with all of that is going to, it's a huge personal goal mm -hmm. for me because I am, I'm exhausted, you know, I can imagine. So, mm -hmm. so I'm not dealing with PTSD, but yes, I understand mm -hmm. exhaustion and I have been thinking about possibly instead of being a preschool teacher, maybe not this year, but maybe in the next year, um, taking a course um, so I can be a certified editor mm, cool. and yeah. be able to not have to be out of the house those mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. each week unless she needs like a substitute or something. You know, just to have a little more flexibility to focus more on my writing career mm -hmm. and see if I can build it up to where it's That's actually good. bringing in an income instead of having to rely on these other yeah. mm -hmm. ways that I've been earning yeah. money to that help. Would be amazing. That would be amazing. You know? mm -hmm. And just to... To you know, that's another aspect of writing that I would like to improve myself in, oh, yeah. so that I don't have to rely so fully well, on other people, other editors. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I can turn in a cleaner manuscript and yes. and not have to yes. worry about that too. Mm -hmm. So that would be one of the goals of my life to just try and and simplify, I guess, mm -hmm. right part yeah. of it. So, my only advice there as someone who has edited for, mm -hmm. you know, a job is, you know, don't let it take away from your own writing too. Oh, because, yeah. You know, I mean, that's just, you got to find <laughs> that yes, right balance exactly. because mm -hmm. cause I would edit so much and get to the point to where I was like, oh, I don't even feel like writing, you mm -hmm. know? So that's the only thing I'll say about that. But yeah. I mean, it is rewarding though, mm -hmm. definitely. Right. Well, and when you're used to spending the time outside, mm -hmm. to be able to do something that's at least related to, mm -hmm. uh, that keeps you inside, that keeps you your own boss, that that's, uh, because I'm assuming you're talking about freelance editing. Mm -hmm. Maybe. 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 We'll okay. see. Um, but even if you're not, y you are at least at home and flexible as long as you, with within the parameters mm -hmm. of what project you're given and, right. and things like that. And uh, I know for me in my writing life, um, some of the things that I'm wanting to do is one, just keep growing as a writer. There's mm -hmm. always, there are always things to learn. There are always techniques to take into account, um, things like that. Keep, keep connecting with other authors. Yes. Um, start speaking regularly. Not like YouTube videos, but right. actually going to women's conferences and church groups and um, presenting messages to them that, that carry over from what I write. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
Of course, I want to finish the 1920s book. That yes. is, <laughs> that is goal 2021. Yep. We'll see the 20s book done. Yes. And my wrestling book. Yes, I am writing a <laughs> contemporary a wrestling book. Christian romance about a professional wrestler. Um, you know you want to read it already. You just know so you do, <laughs> just like that. Um, and and to be able to have the bravery to step out mm -hmm. and ask for an interview with um, there's a Christian wrestler that yes they do exist and um, I've read his book and it gave me a lot of information to use in building my character but this will be the first time I've had to step out to somebody in a professional world that I don't know firsthand and present myself as an author <laughs> to say, hi, can I interview you? That's actually kind of intimidating. intimidating. Oh my goodness, yeah. yes. Hi, big wrestler that's on TV all the time <laughs> and everybody in the wrestling <laughs> world knows. I'm an author that nobody in the world <laughs> knows. Some people know. Will you? Will you let me interview you? <laughs> it's hard. Yes. But to 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 get brave and go do that mm -hmm. is is a big big scary thing to do yeah. for 2021. Yeah. Yeah. I want to the well beyond the gates. We'll you know finish and then I'll want to work our dis our trilogy one so that's my big one for 2021 20, and after that kind of excited because i'm not sure what's gonna happen after all that. open yeah amy so. wants to finish her trilogy book two for 2020 <laughs> i i do have plans to finish a trilogy <laughs> book in 2021. She's already and moved like five not cases the one. She, yeah, you know. She's written like three books since then. Yeah. <laughs> I have not. I have not written three books. I have um, I will have written one book since then through NaNoWriMo mm -hmm. and then I hope to write another one this spring to finish up that series. And then I have like five or six ideas floating around in my head. I I am really wanting to write two books a year right now. Uh -huh. Wow, that's my goal is to write two books a year and get at least one contract every year mm. um, yeah. for the next year. Um, I would like to keep up that one book a right, year. Right, at the least year. yes. Although with two books coming out in twenty twenty one, I might get spoiled and yeah, and not be satisfied yeah. with that. I don't know. Well, when I say one a year, mm -hmm. I want one of my major focus my fiction books yes but I do want to start um, developing devotionals that go not along with the book but go with the themes of That's the books that I write mm -hmm. and I would like to see those published each year as well so. right yeah and I've been That's working on idea. short stories and novella mm -hmm. size links too so I want I would like to see one big book and then maybe a couple short stories or mm -hmm. yeah. you know That'd something throughout mm -hmm. the rest of the year, kind of space it out a little bit. So we have lofty goals for <laughs> ourselves, obviously, but we have each other to support, yes. mm -hmm. support each other. Are we going to watch this at the end of the year and, mm -hmm. and do a recap video? Yeah, yeah, we did could. we meet our goals? Ooh. Did we accomplish Ooh. what we Would you guys like to, to see that? <laughs> <laughs> Let us I know, know in the comments. Let us know you. your goals in the comments. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm hmm Happy 2021. Go ahead and like <laughs> this video. If you did like it, I'm assuming you did. It's a pretty good video. Yeah, pretty good. Good video. Yeah, video. Like Give it. us some yeah, encouragement. Sure. Definitely like it. Uh, like the video. <laughs> Follow us on our channel if you haven't already. Leave us a comment with your goals, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.